Hey everyone, welcome to a spend the weekend with me vlog. Um, it is Friday morning and it's about 60 degrees right now and I would like to walk to one of my favorite cafes. Their patio just opened yesterday. So I thought that I would finish my work day there and have a coffee, uh, enjoy the sunshine. So initially I did think that I would make this into kind of like what I wear weekend kind of thing, but I don't really wear anything <laughs> designer or special or anything that you can really go out and buy because most of it is thrifted. But regardless, I will show you what I'm wearing, which is very green. Um, so yeah, I got this knitted green vest out of thrift shop and I got these pants at Plato's Closet which is another secondhand store. I have no idea if it's just an East Coast thing or whatever but I had gotten these and then immediately stained them with like a black marker or something. They used to be like a khaki kind of color. Um, so I decided to go to Michael's and just get some Kelly Green dye and here we are and I think they turned out pretty good. I like this color green, as you can see. Um, yeah, very springy outfits. And I also love this type of green with this purple lavender deal that I have. That's like one of my favorite combinations. But anyway, so I am going to go walk and work and drink my coffee and I will check in with you guys when I am there. Hi everyone, so I am back from the cafe and now I am lying on my couch. Sorry if you can hear the fan going, our AC is broken again. It seems to break every single time it goes above 80 degrees, like, I don't know, it's just like, is New England AC technology just not, is it like not made for the, I don't understand, but this happens every time. So we got the fans going, and I didn't expect this to be a problem in April, but here we are. I am exhausted. My body hurts. I'm just trying to kind of rest before we have to walk to the baseball field. Uh, the game's at 6.30. Um, right now it's like 4, so we'll probably leave in like 2 hours. <sighs> yeah, I want to get there kind of early -er so I can stand in line at concessions and get a cheeseburger because honestly, that's like the main reason I, I'm even going to a baseball game because I don't care about baseball. I just really like concession food and have an excuse to read outside in the sunlight. But <sighs> now that we don't have AC... I'm probably just going to be a hot, sweaty, nauseous mess for the rest of the night after the game. So, anyway, this is depressing. So you might be wondering what book I am bringing to the baseball game, and that book is Health Communism, which I talked about in the past in a new releases video. Obviously, it has been released. Um... <laughs> a while now and I pre-ordered it and I started this last night and I already highlighted a few bits just in the introduction so health is capitalism's vulnerability there's no capital without health it's capital's host health becomes defined by the things it is not 
non-cancerous, disabled, as though the purest state of health is to simply not exist. Yeah, where are we going? We're going to Salem. To do what? We're going to beauty market. Yay!
folks, so I am going to end this spend the weekend with me video with a little grocery haul. As you can see, I have a Trader Joe's about 10 minutes away from me and I occasionally do our shopping there, if not the local standard grocery store called Hannaford's. Um, so anyways, for a first Trader Joe's haul, I feel like this is really boring. Like, I should have gotten more interesting things, but I kind of just got basics. Regardless, I'll share them with you. Okay. So I got some eucalyptus so I can put it in the new vase that Ian got me, um, that I showed you. I uh, just got a frozen pizza because sometimes we're incredibly lazy and don't want to cook, so we just pop one of these in the oven. I've never had coconut water before, but I've seen people like use it in their smoothies if they don't drink it straight, but I got some of that and I did have a sip of it in the car on the way home and I like it. So I actually might just have it over some ice. Um, iceberg lettuce. Uh, I'm hoping to make cheeseburgers. Uh, so crispy lettuce, that's what you need. And iceberg just wins every time. And then I got whipped cream. Um, I have some strawberries in the fridge that I need to eat and whipped cream on strawberries, so it's absolutely delightful. And recently, my snack of choice has been cucumbers. <laughs> um, and then I get, instead of like using ranch, I will take some sour cream <laughs> and I'll put like a whole bunch of everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's and then some dill in it and mix it up and then eat like two of these little mini cucumbers um, and dip it and that little concoction of mine. Um, got some apples. These are pink ladies, if you're curious. I got some zucchini. I hate that it comes wrapped in plastic like this. I think it's pointless, but whatever. Love zucchini. That's my favorite vegetable. Ground turkey. I plan on making some chili in the crock pot uh, sometime this week. Another quick meal, if I don't want to cook, I got chicken pot stickers. So I usually just pop those on the stove. As I mentioned before, burgers. So some ground beef. Burgers for the third time, I got buns. Some macaroni, some ranch, <laughs> and then, like I said, I plan on making some chili, so I got some corn, some black beans. So I thought this was fun. I've never made this before, but it seems like a nice spring into summer dessert. It's a blood orange cake mix. And it comes with the icing packet, uh, so that's convenient. And I also have some just like regular oranges over here that need to be eaten. So I thought I would juice those and either just drink the juice or um, mix it into the icing. A restock on jasmine rice. We go through a lot of rice. <laughs> Usually one of our go-to meals is just like tofu in the air fryer with like a sesame soy honey sauce. Um, so we have a big container of rice down there and I'm just gonna top it off. And then saving the best for last. I got a little bottle of Moscato. Mind you, it is about a $6 bottle, but I haven't been disappointed yet by cheap Trader Joe's wine. So that, my friends, is my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. It's very basic, but 
cellulose base, the stuff that we needed. Um, so yeah, this weekend has been busy. <laughs> a lot of running around, a lot of walking. I'm exhausted. So my big plan for today is to take a shower and then I'm going to make some food. I think I'm going to make some pasta with zucchini and I have some meatballs in the freezer. So I'll probably top it off with those. <laughs> Maybe a glass of wine. I might have a glass of wine. Um, Cause there are no rules. <laughs> um, yeah. So I know this video is kind of quick simple but I hope you enjoyed it I hope it was relaxing and I will see you next weekend with a more talk to the camera one-on-one -on -one chatty type video but until then